In this lockdown, there are only nine shows that you need to watch to get through this thing. Number nine, The Mandalorian. Between its action and its campy sense of humor, this is the Star Wars we've all been needing for, honestly, quite some time, not just in lockdown. Enjoy Pedro Pascal next to Baby Yoda. Oh for two great seasons. Next up, number eight, watch The Big Bang Theory. Nope, nope, sorry, nope. The first two seasons, the rest are optional. Number seven, Friends. Can't beat a classic. You know, we got our top six friends, Phoebe, Ross, Chandler, Rachel, Monica, and, jo and Joey. Joey doesn't share food. Go watch it, it'll get you through this thing. There's like nine, 10 seasons on there. That'll keep you busy for a while, I'm positive. Number six, The Grand Tour. Now bear with me, I know it's a bit of a car show, but it's also a bit of an explosive show. This, These three charismatic guys are going around the world driving these really fast supercars. It's like Fast and the Furious, but a little more realistic and a little more oof as well. A little more heart and story. Enjoy that. I know it's a bit of a docu-series, but hey, speaking of docu-series, number five, The Office. Now, The Office, you know, is definitely a lot of give and take between a lot of different characters and a lot of different relationships between, you know, love, friendship, and, you know, invasive ships. It's it's insane. It's, you know, it'll break your personal space. It blurs the line between appropriate and inappropriate dialogue, but at the same time, you know, you gotta remember this came out in the early 2000s, bleeding into the late 2010s, so give it a break. It'll be fantastic. There's like nine seasons on there of pure blood, guts, and comedy. That's basically what it is. Minus, minus the blood. Number four, Parks and Rec. Ever wonder how Star-Lord got his start? Well, here it is, Parks and Rec, another little docu-series uh, headed up by Amy Poehler. Fantastic show. You'll begin to love all the characters, especially Ron Swanson. He reminds me so much of my older brother. Just complete, uh, you know, free. <laughs> uh, you know, no filter. We'll, we'll call it no filter, no filter at all. So you, this is definitely a series that you'll love. You'll watch it. You'll want to stick around for the entire thing. Check it on, on Amazon Prime. I think there's like six or seven seasons on there. A pure government comedy. Just hilarious. Number three, Last Man Standing. If you're a very outdoorsy type of person, this is definitely the show for you. Constant camping, constant camping jokes, constant hunting, constant hunting jokes. It's something of, you know, it's a hidden gem amongst the TV world. Go check it out. You'll thank me later. Oh, it's fantastic. So watchable. So rewatchable. Number three, we're looking at Modern Family. I promise you that Phil Dunphy will make you laugh so loud. Out loud, I mean. Go watch clips of just best moments of Phil Dunphy. You'll thank me later. So good. Next up, number one spot. I have to give it to Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Hilarious characters. Jake Peralta. Uh, I mean, Jake Peralta is probably one of the best written characters on the show. He's fantastic in it. Uh, Andy Samberg plays him, and Andy Samberg brings so much improv to the table, so much charisma, charisma, so much enthusiasm, goofiness. Oh my gosh, is he a goofball? But, you know, it also has its serious moments, which transcend seamlessly with the entire show. It's really great, and it's just a really great show that will have you saying yip, 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 or cool, 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 no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. It's so quotable. It's unbelievable. It, it's just a, one of those laugh out, laugh out loud shows that you can't get enough of, and I can't get enough of this one. This one will get you through pretty much uh, you know any kind of rough time that you are having. It's an escape from reality. That's just the best compliment I can give this show. So, those are my top picks. What do you think of them? What, what shows have you been watching? Give me recommendations on shows I need to watch. I mean, I've watched these things all the way through. So, give me recommendations. I need them. Hey, thanks all for watching. I appreciate it. Hey, maybe go check out uh, one of our other videos. You know, we got a Wonder Woman 1984 video that blew up around you know Christmas time. Go check that out. Go give it a watch. Also, you go check out Noah's gaming videos. They're hilarious. A ton of fun, those videos. Uh, he's doing them from home. So... Uh, enjoy those. Those are great. Thanks all for watching. Have a great day. Take care.